Hey guys, um, I had this crazy idea while I was in the shower just a couple minutes ago. Uh, I was thinking about the 24 hour readathons that people do, and I was thinking about them, um, about how it's kind of a bummer. I just like could never, I could never do one of those. Like I'm, I'm a parent. I can't sit for 24 hours and just read even on a weekend. I have things I need to do. I have animals. I have a child. I have a husband. I have things I need to do. So I was thinking about it and I was wondering how much time it would take me to even accumulate 24 hours of reading time. So I was thinking about that and I think I'm gonna do a vlog. So if you're watching this, I guess I've started it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a stopwatch on my phone whenever I read. I'll tally up my time at the end of the day, I guess, and maybe every day that I read, I'll uh, have a little summary for you. I guess that's all for now, and I will see you soon, hopefully, if I actually do this. So it's March 12th today. I guess I will see you in a second if I do do this. I don't know. I have a lot of books that I need to get to this, well, want to, I don't need to, uh, but there's a lot of books that I want to get to this month. So I thought that this might be a good way to do that. So how long with my normal reading maybe? Will it take me to accumulate 24 hours? I guess we will see. Hey again, it's me and I've finished my first day trying to read, trying to accumulate 24 hours of reading. Um, today I got 91 minutes, so an hour and 31 minutes read. Um, that leaves me with, so I have 1,349 minutes left to read. So that'll be interesting. I read about 80 some pages of uh, Morningstar and Pierce Brown's books take me a long time to read for some reason. I've also been listening to that one on audiobook a little bit because my library had it, but I didn't count that into my reading. I'm only counting physical reading. So 1,349 more minutes to go, I guess. I will see you tomorrow. Hey again, today is March 13th and I read for 68 minutes today. So an hour and eight minutes. I had kind of a weird day, so I didn't get a whole lot of reading in, but that's okay. Um, I could read more, but I'm really also trying to finish rewatching Game of Thrones before the new season comes on. So that's really a priority. Um, so I read 68 minutes today, like I said. So that means I have 1,281 minutes left to read. <laughs> um, so I read about, what would that be? Two, and, two hours and 40 minutes about so far. So not uh, doing as well as I thought I would. I guess, I mean, it's only been two days. So I read a little bit in Morning Star. I think I read, ooh, how many pages was it? I don't know, 60 something pages, maybe like 61 pages. And I think that's pretty good because I think his books take me longer to read. I don't read them as quickly for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like a hard book. Like it doesn't take a lot of brain power, but I don't know. So that's where I am today. Hi, <laughs> um, it's me again. Today is March 14th and 
my daughter has a two hour late start today and she's only in kindergarten so she's only in school for half a day she's only in school till like 12 20. so i have like two hours until i have to pick her up again from school and i'm on oh my god i'm on the very last couple pages of red rising i have or sorry morning star i have like 20 pages left 30 pages left and holy shit it is getting crazy and i'm already i've already been upset this morning because something happened and i wanted to scream and then i had to you know set my book down and take care of some shit around the house so i'm going to get back to this right now i'm going to finish it before i pick my daughter up from school and you know what i will get back to you later tonight with how this is i think after i finish this i'm gonna um pick up the e-arc i have of the dark game by jonathan jance and see how that goes i read the sh uh the sorrows the sorrows a couple months ago and that was his first book i believe his first published book at least and i was kind of lukewarm toward it so i'm hoping that i like the dark game better and uh yeah i'll see you in a bit hi again everybody it's the evening of march 14th and i'm here to report on my reading today so I ended up reading um, 131 minutes today, which is two hours and 11 minutes. I read an even 160 pages today, which I think is really great. I was able to finish up Morning Star. I read, I believe, 48 pages total in that to finish it up. And I started the e-arc of The Dark Game by Jonathan Jans, and I read 112 pages of that. So I think that's pretty good. Um, it's really interesting so far. It, it, um, it feels like those 112 pages have gone by fast. It's really interesting um, and mysterious, and I really want to know what's going to happen next. So I'm just going to finish up my chalada and um, watch some more Game of Thrones. I went to the library, the book sale my library is uh, doing right now and I got some things that I wanted to buy but I was a little disappointed. Um, I was expecting some older books I was hoping to find maybe some older like Stephen King paperbacks or some like cheesy vintage horror books, but I don't really find that much. Yeah, that's my day. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna go play fetch with my cat and watch some TV. Hi. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys how many pages I have left. So I read, or how many um, minutes in my 24 hours I have left. So. I read 131 minutes. That leaves me with 1,150 minutes before I've read 24 hours. Uh, yeah. Let's see, altogether I've read 244. I've read almost five hours, so. It's only my third day and I've read almost five hours, so congratulations to me. Thank you, goodbye. Hey guys, it is me again, and it is Sunday, March 17th. And I did not read very much this weekend. Uh, I, I read today, but generally I don't read that much on the weekends because I read mostly at night and on the weekends, I like to watch movies because I can stay up a little bit later without feeling like a fucking zombie person in the morning. So that's what I did this weekend. It was no different. Uh, but I did read today. I read, uh, let's see. I can't remember when the last time I updated you guys is, which 
It's unorganized of me, but I think the last time I updated was maybe Thursday. So Friday I read 29 minutes, Saturday I read 30 minutes, and today I read 87 minutes, so that's pretty good. So an hour and 27 minutes today, I've been reading The Dark Game by Jonathan Jans. I read about 111 pages today, so not too bad. Uh, that brings my total remaining minutes to 1,004. I read about 300, wait, was it 440? So I've read 400 and... 36 minutes so far, I think? I don't know. Math is hard after the weekend. Um, yeah, that's my update. Uh, I will probably see you back tomorrow because I will read tomorrow, I'm sure, as I usually do on the weekdays. Um, this is my cat Salem. He is dirty, so he's cleaning himself. <laughs> oh. He's rude. I apologize. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hey guys. Today is... I have to do this every time. So stupid. Today is March 18th and it's Monday and I had a really good reading day today. Uh, I finished up The Dark Game by Jonathan Jans and I started reading my best friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I only got to like the second chapter in this, maybe like 20 pages, but it is so good so far. Grady is such a brilliant writer. I read 78 minutes today, uh, which is an hour and 18 minutes. That brings my total remaining time down to 926 minutes. So not too bad. That means I've read a little over 500 minutes so far, right? I think if I started out with 1,440, yeah, that would be a little over 500. So fucking rad, not not too shabby. One, two, I've only been doing this for six days. So I'm like a third of the way there almost. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's all I have for you today. Ah, long days and pleasant nights. So, it is March 20th and I didn't update yesterday. I just got, I was super tired and I went to bed like an hour early. See, yesterday I read 129 minutes. Today, I read two hours and seven minutes and I finished my best friend's exorcism and you guys, this book was so, so good. I flew through it. I literally flew through it. I read the, pa the, the last almost 200 pages in a little less than two hours, which is crazy. Um, I don't think that I'm a super fast reader, so I flew through this book. It was so good. The end, like my breath caught in my chest. And I was like, <sighs> It was so good. It was such a great book. Um, so anyways, um, I'm down to 710 minutes remaining. So that means I'm just, just over halfway. I've read just a little over 12 hours so far. So not so bad. This is only day nine. I'm, uh, yeah, hoping that I can get this done at least in 18 days, maybe. That'd be cool if I could, uh, you know, double my number and uh, keep reading. I'm so impressed with myself because I've really, I had a lot of books that I wanted to get read this month and I'm on track to finish them all. Give me a virtual pat on the back and I will see you tomorrow. Hi, it's me, Coral. <laughs> Have I been saying that at the beginning of every little clip here because that's weird. Anyways, it is March 26th and you might be wondering, where have you been then? And I guess the answer is like here in my house, not reading very much. So uh, 
Let's see, I have all my shit written down here. The last time I updated you, I think, was the 20th. So that was six days ago. On the 21st, I only read 18 minutes. The 20th, or the 22nd, I read 20 minutes. I read not at all on the 23rd. The 24th, I read 11 minutes. And yesterday, the 25th, I read 29 minutes. Or, sorry, 21 minutes. So, I was reading Rabbit Heart by Jeremy Wagner. I started that. And... I stopped reading it. I had to stop because I just could not. I read like 60 pages in it over five days, which is almost a complete halt in my reading for me. Like that is not, I could have finished that book in, you know, three days, if not less, if I really, if I set the time out to do it. Um, so I put that book away for now. And I started, well, let's see. Okay, today I read 85 minutes. So that's good. Kind of got back on track there. So I started The Sentinel by Jeffrey Convitz. This is a nice old vintage horror book. And um, I read 111 pages today. So that's not bad for reading an hour and 25 minutes. I don't, I don't think that's not too bad. So, on my running total, I have 555 minutes remaining. I am almost on the home stretch. I wonder how long that is, how many hours. Let me do some maths quickly. My calculator tells me that that is a little over nine hours left. So, I feel like I'm on the home stretch by now, right? Almost. I've almost read a thousand hours, or a thousand minutes, a thousand hours. That would be nuts. A thousand minutes. My dog is barking. That's all I have for you right now. I will hopefully see you tomorrow because hopefully I will just finish this book tomorrow, maybe. Or at least read most of it, okay? It's pretty good so far. Um, there's this part about the main character meeting some lesbians who live in our apartment building and she is so upset about it and it's really hilarious. I mean, it's not it's not actually supposed to be funny. She's legitimately frightened and disturbed and offended. So I have to the way it's written it feels like the author definitely also felt that way when he wrote this book. It's a pretty old book. But, um, I thought that was pretty funny. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye. Hi. <laughs> it is March 27th. And I've been reading The Sentinel by Jeffrey Convitz. Uh, I read for 55 minutes today. And coincidentally, that brought down my remaining time to a flat... 500 minutes. So, not bad. I read 60, 64 pages today, and this book is outrageous. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just of its time, I guess. Not in a bad way either. Uh, there's lots of outrage about lesbians. They flat out call some guy a dwarf. Um, everyone's just very enthusiastic. I don't know if that's the right word. They're very outspoken and loud. It seems like about everything. Everything's an exclamation. And I'm upset or I'm sad and I'm very happy about this. And just, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's interesting. I think that's all I have to say today. This is Salem back here. Get him. Salem. Here's your time to shine, my friend. Do a trick for the camera. 
Mm, no, he's not gonna do a trick for the camera. Anyways, mm, I'm blurry. <laughs> okay, so that's all I have for you right now. I will see you tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna finish the book tomorrow because I only have about 100 pages left. So if I tell you this, then I'll have to do it, right? I think. So, okay, yeah. Anyways, goodbye. Hey, it is March 28th. Oh no, it's March 28th. And tonight I finished The Sentinel by Jeffrey Freaking Convitz. Where'd I put it? I finished it. I had 103 pages left and I read them. And I think it was definitely a story of its time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it. Um, anyways, I read for 86 minutes today. So that leaves me with 414 minutes to go. And with how I've been reading when I do read, I could possibly get that done in like four days. However, tomorrow's Friday and after Friday's the weekend. And I don't always read a lot on the weekend. It's kind of hit and miss. Um, it depends on what I'm doing. And I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. And now I have to do some yard work. Now that it's getting a little bit warmer out. I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm going to start one of my Michael Crichton books because that was one of my goals for this year was to read at least two of the books of his that I own because I have this problem where I buy books from authors that I haven't read yet and I just keep buying them if I find them. And I don't know if I even like that author. So why do I do that? I don't know. So I'm going to read one of, I'm going to read at least two of the, Mike, like I said, two of the Michael Crichton books that I own as of now. I need to do that before the end of the year and I haven't even started. And I have like 12 other goals that I made as far as like books that I want to get to this year and kinds of videos that I want to make and I put a lot on my plate <laughs> so I'm trying to I'm trying to eat it all and I'm kind of full and I'm just I don't know I don't know um I guess here's my cat he's old and grumpy but everyone likes seeing a cat right mm -mm. He wants his special food. He's waiting around for his special food because he's old and he gets special food with medicine at, it at night. Poor kitty. So you can see he's starving to death. Look at him. Okay, sorry. Um, enough about my cats and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hi, <laughs> it's me again. You've seen me say this a lot of times by now. Um, anyways, it is April 1st. And I kind of haven't updated in a couple days. I was gonna do an update yesterday, but then I hadn't written down my times in my little, my tracker here. So I wasn't sure how much I had read before I had, I don't know, what am I trying to say? I wasn't sure about things. I just wasn't sure. So I didn't update. I could have just like come and grab my camera and like watched my last update video, but I didn't do that for some reason. Um, cause I was lazy. Anyways, so the last time I updated was March 28th. That was a few days ago. I think that was last Thursday. So, um, Friday, I didn't read anything. Thur er, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The day after Friday is Saturday, so, <laughs> um, oh my god, I'm a mess right now. Uh, Friday I didn't read, I had an acupuncture appointment, and then I just kind of felt a little bit out of sorts all day, um, and I didn't end up reading. I'm pretty sure 
oh yeah, I watched, instead of reading at night like I normally do, I watched a movie. I like to do that on Friday nights, so that's what I did. And then Thursday, oh my God, Saturday, what am I, oh. <laughs> Saturday I read for 30 minutes and I started um, Eaters of the Dead. Then Sunday I read 66 minutes. That, that was yesterday, Sunday, the 31st. So that brought my remaining time down to 318 minutes. Now today I ended up reading 74 minutes, which brings my total down to 244 minutes. Pretty good, right? Um, I finished Eaters of the Dead. It's a short little book. I didn't like it. And I think that might be partly because the movie that was based off of this, The 13th Warrior, is a movie that I watched over and over and over and over and over um, when I was growing up. So the movie is better than the book. And I'm not just saying that because I'm nostalgic about it. Um, so I finished that. I started, well, I didn't start, but I have, I read some of Pet Cemetery. I read like 20 pages in that. So that was what I did today. My cats are playing lions. So that was my day. I read some. So I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tuesdays, I usually read a lot because my daughter has gymnastics. So I read while she's there because I don't want to talk to other people. I don't like that. Anyways, that's my life. Goodbye. Hello. This is the vlog where I, I don't make updates as often as I should. Here I am looking extra cute. I have not updated this since April 1st and today is April 7th. So <laughs> let's see. April 2nd I read 52 minutes. Uh, April 4th I read 43. April 6th yesterday I read 46 minutes which brought my time down to 103 and then today I read for 54 fi 50. 54 minutes, which brings my remaining time down to 49 minutes, which means I might finally finish this tomorrow. Probably, I could. Will I? I don't know. Hey, it's me. It's April 8th. I'm here looking the most cute for this update. Our final little video here. If you've been looking at me in my bedroom and wondering why it looks like a crack house, it's because I'm fixing the wallpaper. <laughs> to peel these sheets of like 100 years, just kidding, it's not that old, like 40 year old wallpaper off and it's a lot of work. So I don't like do it often <laughs> because I don't have a lot of time to do it. My house is normal, I swear. My wallpaper is just ancient. And this, this is white. You see? That's white. That's fucking wallpaper. Why? Anyways, I'm here today. It's April 8th, like I said. And I finished my 24 hours. I had 49 minutes to read today and I did it. I have a couple stats for you because, you know, I like that kind of stuff. So, I read or read part of nine books total in this little 24 hour period. I started Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire and I really, really like it. I thought the first book was pretty good too. I just, that one didn't focus specifically on like the portal worlds that these children go into in this series. And I wanted that. And this, that's where, this, that's a path that the series has taken since that first book. So I'm so psyched about it. I just, I'm only, mm, I was only like 80 pages in. 
I got today in my 49 minutes, which is pretty goddamn good. But, um, I just got to the part where these characters get to their best world portal. And it's really interesting so far. And I think Sean McGuire's writing is... Her, like, commentary, her, like, little bit of commentary is just very relevant. And this is something that I'd want my daughter to read when she's a little bit older because I just think that it has a good message even in this fictional world. So I've read that. I also have read 158 pages of Gardens of the Moon by Stephen Erickson. I finished Eaters of the Dead by Michael Crichton. I finished The Sentinel by Jeffrey Convitz. I read 60 pages in Rabbit Heart by Jeremy Wagner. I had to set this one down, I just was not digging it. I read Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. I read Morning Star by Pierce Brown. I think I had started this, I was some, I was into this a little bit. Uh, when I started this, so I can't remember exactly how many pages I read during this 24 hour period. But I also read the last book. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the last one. I read My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, and the last one I read was an e arc, was uh, The Dark Game by Jonathan Jans. So that's what I read during this time. I technically this took me. This took me 28 days to complete, but if you counted just the days that I read, it was 23 days. So it took me 28 days to do this, but I read for 23 of those days. So five of the days I didn't read at all. And uh, if you do the math, it averages up to about 63 minutes a day, which kind of surprised me. Um, I feel like I read a lot more than that, but I think I think what happened was that there were some days where I read a ton and then a couple days where I read like 20 minutes and nothing else. So kind of averages out, I think. Yeah, um, I'm not sure what else to include in this. It'll be nice to like not have to worry about like keeping track of time while I'm reading. I can just fucking sit down and read and read. Hopefully you like this. Um, I hope it doesn't take me 300 hours to edit all these videos all together. We'll see. You'll see. I don't know. It's weird to like do my normal sign off in such a informal video, but thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end, give yourself a gold star. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being interested in what I'm doing. I will see you soon. But until then, see you later, alligators.